Hi everyone, so I just wanted to sort of just have a bit of a, I'm going for a walk so I thought I'll just make this quick video and what I want to talk about is what now? We've had the most terrible year we've probably ever experienced and this isn't just in one country, this is worldwide and we all know why. We've then had this massive pressure and build up to Christmas where people have been worried about whether they can even have the type of Christmas they want we've had you know the pressure of usual stuff when it comes to christmas where people are going to eat christmas what they're going to have to eat um you know presents what they're going to buy whether they can afford you know to buy stuff and all the rest of it and i think what it's done is it's distracted us which is a good thing it's distracted us from the reality of what's been happening because we've had time to focus on christmas but what now there's many people even before covid that had that feeling that when Christmas was over, they had, it was almost like an anti-climax because now that Christmas is over, what do I do now? I'm back to my life, I've got nothing to distract me or focus on. Well, some people then are looking forward to New Year's Eve. But what I wanted to add to this discussion really is the time, the energy, the effort and the motivation you put into Christmas where you were making sure it's going to be the best one ever, where you were buying presents, where you were getting organised, put that same energy and motivation and effort into the, the rest of 2020 and the rest of 2021. All we've got really is moments. We're not in control of what's happening at the moment in lots of situations, but we are in control of many other things. So I was having a discussion this morning on Facebook with someone who is a very close friend of mine, we've known each other since 2009, but we definitely disagree on politics and on certain topics. This person has continuously said to me that I'm overly optimistic, that I think positive thinking um, is the way forward when it's not the reality. He has said, um, what did he say about me? <laughs> um, just lots of things really. He, We're just on different spectrums because I believe that although we are guided by systems and there are lots of systems in our way to make us you know hold us back there are lots of systems about that are trying to destroy us there's lots of people and things and there's oppression and all that stuff and i agree with that i said to him i don't ever disagree with what you're saying however i have also a belief in individual free will and i also believe that as individuals if we focus on things that are within our control rather than things that are out of our control then we're going to live a happier life you can't control the weather you can't control whether people like you or not you can't control the governments you can't control um, certain things which are facts they're not going to change so if you spend your whole life focusing on those things of course they're going to make you unhappy if you woke up every day and you thought you know what i'm so unhappy because i'm getting taxed on my salary. I'm so unhappy because um, I've got this loan and there's high interest on it. But how about if you turned around and you thought, do you know what? This high interest on this loan is really killing me and I don't want to be a slave to that anymore. So what I'm going to do is phone up that creditor. And I'm going to, and this is the reason I'm using this example is because I was in this situation. So anytime someone's talking about debt, I can relate. I was in so much debt at one point. I had loans, I had a loan on my car. I had bank loans, I had credit cards, I had doorstop loans, every, you, every single loan that was available, I had it. What changed me was thinking, I no longer want to be a slave to those people. I don't want my creditors being in control of my life, being able to phone me, send me lots of letters, cause me stress, so I made a decision. Now that was within my control, that was something I decided to do, and it's the same as with bud whether it's budgeting, whether it's taking responsibility for some of the actions you've made, whether it's taking responsibility for how you are in your relationship, we still have some control, that's what I'm trying to say. So put that time, energy, effort and motivation into making those changes in your life step by step and stop worrying about the bigger things that are outside of your control because we can't do anything about them. And it's not to say that you have to give up and say you're not gonna fight for change and that you're just going to leave the world as it is and you're not going to make a difference. That's not what I'm saying. But right now, the difference you can make is by taking actions every day, individually. Small actions can lead to big changes as well. Don't ever forget that. 
So I hope you found this video useful. I'm going to probably make a longer video talking about this in more depth because I didn't really think about what I was going to go into but this is quite a deep topic and I also feel that it's something worth exploring a bit more so I'll possibly make another video about it. Now I'm going to continue on my walk and I hope everyone enjoys the rest of 2020 and starts to focus on 2021 and how you can make it the year that you want it to be. Thanks for watching everyone and thank you to all of my subscribers. Please feel free to like, to comment and to share this video if you feel it will benefit someone else. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.